There's a huge problem happening here in the Philippines. It's called the Lug Lug Bala scheme. A lot of people are being affected, OFW, senior citizens, locals, foreigns, causing them to pay a lot of money, possibly be detained and miss your flights. This right here should not be in your bag. Let's start with choosing a bag. Now, if you have the finances and you can afford it, you're going to get one of those polycarbonate bags. Now, you've seen these. They're not really bags. They're more of luggage, suitcases type of deal. These criminals can't get into those bags. They can't cut into them. They can't put stuff in there. But if you can't afford one of those, then you should try to get a bag that doesn't have a lot of pockets for obvious reasons. And if you happen to get one with a lot of pockets, then use those locks. You have those airport locks. You can lock them there, or you can even use zip ties. Another big thing that you want to avoid is baggy clothes. This hoodie right here. It's got pockets everywhere. So obviously, you can't feel when people put stuff in your pockets. Cargo shorts, cargo pants in general, <laughs> they're not stylish. You wouldn't want to wear them. It's a big no-no in the first place. And the looser it is, the easier it is for them to put something in there. Basically, the bottom line is make sure you always keep an eye on your baggage. You can also try using plastic wrap on your bag. You can start by doing the big sides first. You can go around it. This is how I wrap. Christmas gifts as well. As long as you cover the zippers, you cover the pockets. Take that! Now every bag that you travel with is something that you need to protect, including your hand carry. Now this may sound a little bit crazy, but the stakes are high. So what you want to do is you take uh, regular masking tape or duct tape and you cover up all of the zippers on your hand carry. Now what you do is you write your name on them so you know that it's the same one because sometimes maybe they'll pull them off, maybe they'll put it in and then just put some duplicate. Awesome guy, Mr. Sensitive. Now, if an airport official actually asks you to open your bag, this is where it gets tricky. One of the first things you should do is request for a lawyer. If you can't find a lawyer, then you actually ask for a witness. So they say, open up your bag, young man. We found something. Whatever you do, do not touch the bullet because if you touch that bullet, your fingerprints go right on that bullet. I see it. You should ask the police if they found your fingerprints on the bullet. If they didn't, then you should file a case. Against any of the concerned airport parties, they should pay for damages. They should also help you rebook your flight. Remember, always be vigilant. Be firm when you talk to airport officials. The best thing you can do is never ever take your eyes off of your baggage. Trust no one.